think Bitcoin is just a financial revolution? Think again. It's becoming a game changer for cybersecurity and not always in a good way. Hackers can now pull off massive cyber attacks, demand ransom in Bitcoin, and completely disappear. Without anyone knowing who they are, governments are left powerless and the stakes keep getting higher. How did we end up in a world where the people we used to fear are now being hired by the government? Let's uncover how Bitcoin is reshaping the rules of the digital battlefield. Most people think Bitcoin is untraceable, but in reality, it's not as anonymous as some believe. The real stealth comes from coins like Monero and technologies like Mimblewimble, which are privacy coins like Bitcoin's secretive cousins designed specifically to make transactions hidden and untraceable. Monero, for example, uses something called ring signatures and stealth addresses to make it nearly impossible to trace transactions back to individuals. This is way beyond what Bitcoin can offer in terms of privacy. Mimblewimble, on the other hand, not only hides transaction details, but also makes the blockchain smaller and faster by only storing the minimal data necessary. It's like turning a full-length novel into a tweet, super efficient and almost invisible. What's wild is that the kind of privacy once reserved for national governments conducting covert operations is now available to anyone. Monero has become the go-to currency for anyone wanting to conduct untraceable transactions. Even everyday people can now have a level of financial privacy that governments used to control exclusively. The power balance has shifted and that's something no one saw coming. But with this power shift comes a dark side. Privacy coins are a dream come true for hackers and bad actors. Take the Indodax exchange hack. Hackers stole $22 million and because of Monero and similar technologies, tracking them down is next to impossible. Even more terrifying was the Wazir X hack, where over $230 million was siphoned off. Hackers laundered that money through Tornado Cash, a mixing service that scrambles funds across multiple wallets, making it nearly impossible to trace. By the way, if you want to learn how to defend against these attacks, book a call with us or join the Crypto Vagabonds Academy today. And it doesn't stop at stealing funds. They're using these tools not just for everyday cybercrime, but to launch major attacks on critical infrastructure, hitting things like power grids, water systems, and even hospitals and demanding ransom in untraceable currencies. Just imagine a hacker shutting down a hospital's operations and asking for Monero in return. You could pay them, and no one would ever know who they are or where the money went. It's a whole new level of cyber extortion. The digital battlefield is evolving faster than anyone expected, and governments are struggling to keep up. In fact, some governments have started to rely on the very same privacy technologies for covert transactions. They need to secure military operations, intelligence work, and national security dealings, which require absolute secrecy. But the fact that these same tools are now available to regular citizens that's a game changer. The rise of crypto hacks, which have totaled more than $1.2 billion in 2024 alone, has left regulators and governments constantly on the defensive. Every time a new security patch is developed, hackers already have a workaround ready to go. For instance, after governments started cracking down on Tornado Cash, hackers turned to even more sophisticated mixing services or built custom decentralized platforms to stay a step ahead. These vulnerabilities are widespread, from DeFi exploits during code upgrades to traditional CFI hacks, it's clear that no one is safe. Hackers are using everything from flash loans to fake smart contracts, and these attacks are getting harder to defend against. It's not just about the stolen funds anymore, it's about maintaining trust in the entire system. The real kicker? Governments are having to rethink national defense. Just like the invention of airplanes gave rise to air forces, the rise of digital assets is pushing nations toward creating cyber armies. Countries like the US, Russia, and China are already developing state-backed hacker units. This isn't sci-fi, it's happening right now. Hackers aren't working with outdated equipment. They're using advanced tech to stay ahead. Let's talk about the OMG cable. It looks like your standard iPhone charging cable, but it's anything but innocent. With just $200, a hacker can plant this cable in your office or home, and it can remotely control your device. This tool can steal passwords, inject malware, and compromise systems without anyone knowing it's even happening. On the other hand, governments pay up to $20,000 for similar equipment because they have to go through official channels and meet regulatory standards. Why is it so cheap for hackers? Well, they don't need to follow rules or go through procurement processes. They can build these tools with off-the-shelf parts 
sometimes even reverse engineering government issued tech. And as long as there's a black market for these tools, hackers will continue to have the upper hand. This isn't just about stealing money anymore. Hackers are targeting people's data, private messages, and even medical records. Every day they create new scams, design more complex attacks, and develop ways to hack systems that we haven't even thought about defending yet. It's like an arms race, but one where the criminals are always one step ahead. If you think this is the future, guess again, it's the present. Bitcoin and blockchain aren't just disrupting finance, they're changing the entire landscape of cybersecurity. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest updates. Stay safe, stay informed, and as always, stay curious, stay hodling.